Hello all. Let's continue with the second part of this tutorial. So let's get started. So here we have modeled this over here. So let's start up. Let's resize it a bit. Can increase its height a bit. And very important is this part. So we can increase the size of this over here in this way shift a bit up okay so now as we are going to create the bottom part so let's shift this a bit up select this both the polygons and extrude it a bit down like this okay so now we still have this part over here so let's go on to the top view and let's create this so let's select this part you can shift this part a bit out if it is required. You can shift this part. Select, select the vertices and shift a bit back. Let's go to the top view and let's create a box over here which can cover this area. We can we can resize it. We can resize this particular part over here like this. So we can get some more space out of it. So we have this stuff over here. So let's shift this up. Convert to editable poly. Let's shift this a bit down. So now let's create this. Create the pillars. So first of all we'll create a basic box for this pillars. So Take a box over here, take a auto grid option and increase the height of the pillars over here like this. Increase the height of the pillars, you can resize it. Okay, we can shift this a bit out. Push this onto the top by increasing its height. Convert to editable poly and let's adjust it first of all over here like this and shift a bit inside okay so over here we are just blocking it now we are still into the blocking mode so you can use a line over here you can easily use a line you can use a line over here and select this line part Go over here, rendering, enable in viewport, and make it as rectangular and increase the size over here. That's it. So you can increase its height, increase its length, and you can shift it down like this. So we are going to create 
the same stuff over here as the line so you can detail it afterwards you can give a bit of a detail part so after you convert this into a editable poly so select this go into the swift loop option so just select ring it and connect it just you can scale this part out like this so and isolate it select and delete this part scale it down push it down so instead of making a copy over here let's take this as a copy so press E and rotate it and you can resize it resize it push this over here and push this over here so just make a copy of it so as many copies you want to make you can just increase the number of copies in it ok so let's save it so we have not detailed this uh, yet so we can detail this part so still if we need to scale this we can easily scale it so you can scale this part over here you can easily scale this part out select this part go into the vertices push this down you can select the polygon and use a bevel option push this inside over here click ok select this put some loops over here let's put some loops select this part select all and there is an option called inset and make it by polygon click ok so the next step is click on the bevel option and let's push this inside and click ok that's it so as you can see over here we have generated some detail use three loops over here use this press alt and l and you can scale this in this manner so we can duplicate this particular area over here as well so let's make a copy over here like this so we can make a copy that's it okay so now same copy this part and let's rotate it again push this over here and click ok ok so make sure you are uh, taking the same height as we have taken it over here so you need to manage the height well over here ok and shift this up this is a perfect and you can make a copy at the bottom and click ok that's it so now same thing we are going to make a copy over here also so 
let's select all this part press shift and make a copy over here so we'll shift this over here we'll leave some space select it vertices push this over here use this can use a front view over here to adjust it so you can adjust it accordingly so even you can attach it if you want to attach it you can easily attach this part so you can uh, get some copies over here so you can work it out so as you can see over here the changes what we have made over here so we have increased the size of this part and we have worked it out so we can make a duplicate of this pillar over here so let's make a duplicate of this particular pillar and make a duplicate of this pillar again over here okay so thanks for watching this tutorial